Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here. Mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, and even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much for being here and welcome back. You might experience a little bit of deja vu because last Monday I introduced a new box to the channel called Wander Karma and it's Monday again and I am opening another Wander Karma box. But that's just because I sort of got in on the end of the shipping cycle for April and I actually chose the Greek box instead of the Japan box which was the actual April box and if you haven't checked that video out yet check it out I'll leave the link for you above um, but this is the May box I'm back on the regular shipping cycle and it is featuring Paris which I'm very excited about I'm also excited to see now that it's the actual box for the month if they incorporate a little bit more in terms of my preferences and my profile so they do have have you fill out a profile like kind of a questionnaire when you first subscribe and it sort of asks you what kinds of items you want to see in the box in terms of like jewelry if at all and then what kinds of jewelry and then like home decor I think they even have a box to check if you're into yoga so that's what I would really like to see I don't know if that was just sort of a survey to find out what's put in future boxes but if there was a little bit of customization I think it would help me to justify the cost of this box so Wander Karma is actually $45 per month, plus another $8 in shipping, and shipping has gone up for all of these subscription box companies, so I can't fault them there. But $45 is a little bit above my personal budget. As you all know, I usually try to keep my subscriptions between $30 and $40 per month, whether or not they are monthly, bi-monthly, or seasonal. So it's a little bit above. It's kind of verging on the price of like a seasonal or a bi-monthly box. So if they did have a little bit more customization, that would definitely be something that would keep me intrigued and keep me subscribed but I also understand that they're probably having some difficulty uh, sourcing these products from these different countries these different destinations right now because of what's going on globally that said let's get in and see what we've got for Paris so they just have a plain white box they do put some like fun travel stickers there let me know in the comments below if you've had the opportunity to visit Paris. Um, I actually studied French in high school and part of college I actually got to the point where I should have been able to take actual classes in French, not French language classes, but actual classes in French. And it has been many, many years and I have not gone back to Fran France or French speaking countries very much. So I have not gotten much more practice. So I've pretty much lost all of that. So you'll probably watch, your, watch me butcher some uh, French words here, but we'll give it our best shot. So on top, I'm just seeing kind of looks like a postcard and it says Bonjour Paris. And then on the back, it does look like a postcard. So it's got like these air mail stripes and I'm just going to read it to you and we'll see what we've got. It looks like we've got four items in this box. I think when I saw this over on Crate Joy, they had like three items in the box. But again, I'm kind of hoping for like bigger ticket items considering the cost. I wish they would also include the um, value as well. So it just says editor brain. There's some like typos, so I'm just sort of like going through it ahead of time. Bonjour mon ami. I have a love affair with Paris. The City of Lights has a creative energy where artists created yesterday to now. You meet the stomping grounds of artists like Picasso, Monet, and Renoir in Montmartre. Have a glass of champagne watching the street performers on the stairs of Sacre-Cœur. Rome neighborhoods of the Marais and Saint-Germain. Stopping in boutiques or having a glass of wine with fromage at a cafe. The French style and joie de vivre is around every corner and that glimpse of the majestic Eiffel Tower. Appreciate art in the Louvre or my favorite, the Musée d'Orsay, that's my favorite too. Explore the vintage books and markets as you stroll down the Seine River to another glimpse of the Notre Dame. Au revoir, Jessica. So a lot of like Franglish in there. That's totally fine. That's how I kind of speak my French too. It tells us what the market finds are. That's cute that they call it like market finds. I will tell you about those as we go. I do like that this is a box with a cause. They always have a charitable uh, reason, a, a charity that they are supporting through the box. And this time it says that 10% of proceeds will go to the World Health Organization to contribute to finding a vaccine for COVID. I'm assuming 19, it says COVID-10 here, and it says, due to supply chain issues with COVID, we supported artists in French Canada on the French tote and Paris letters, but are still inspired by Paris. So I like that sort of transparency for sure. All other supported locals in Paris in February. So in February, hmm, all right. 
So that's probably the last time she went to Paris to get some of these items. So just opening up the tissue paper, it's a very, very light box, like I said, in comparison to the one that I got for Greece, which had lots of edible items. So they were like a little bit weightier, a little bit heftier. So this is, it just looks like a lithograph. So it's got, uh, it says Lipoca, which is speaking to the fence fact that it's got a horse on it. So it's just this kind of fun vintage image. I actually have a bunch of French vintage posters by this artist called Vilmo. So it's definitely like my aesthetic. I really like them. Um, this is a little bit more, um, a little older style, less modern than what I collect, but it says Le Dernier Romantique. Um, so it's kind of got like a Spanish flair to it. You can kind of see the riders of the horse, of the cheval. Um, and let's see what it says about this. It just says French magazine pictures to bring the French vibe and humor home. So I'm guessing it doesn't really say anything on the back. It's kind of on a decent cardstock. It looks like it's just like a page that's then been like kind of glued or taped onto this backing. I'm not going to take it out of this. Um, but this is something my mom will probably like because my mom loves horses and this would definitely fit with some of the home decor that she has. So this might be going into her Mother's Day bundle. So I like that. I'm guessing that everybody got like different ones, but I feel like this is a hard thing to have in a box just because like home decor, especially art pieces that would have to take up some space on your walls, that's a hard thing to fit to everyone's tastes. But let's see what else we've got. I do wish we had a retail value on that as well. And then I've got this like envelope in here that just says Wander Karma Traveler. So I'm guessing it's got some information in here for us. So let me open that up. It's all sticky. All right, let's see. So this is interesting. It just looks like a long handwritten letter, but it does have some like some illustration on it. So this kind of reminds me of Letters from Afar, which if you haven't seen that uh, opening, it's not really an unboxing. There's this really cool subscription where you get these illustrated letters where there's a traveler who writes to you and tells you a little bit about the surroundings from a different country, a different destination every month. Um, so let's see, and this says it's, so it starts on this side. It starts on this side, which does even more um, illustration. So that's beautiful and just says April 2013. And then it says, Dear Wander Karma Traveler. So it's, it's addressed to all of us. History is everything and everywhere in Paris. You walk on it, sit on it, and live with it every day. And I'm not going to read the rest of it, but this is always kind of a fun thing to receive. And this would be a fun thing to like read to your kids if you have kids at home as well. It just tells us a little bit about, um, there's, I'm just seeing Hemingway in here, Edith Piaf, just kind of giving you a sense, the feeling, I guess, of, of Paris. Um, Houseman, Bastille Day, and then it is signed by Empress Janice. So let me see what this is. It says Paris letters from Janice McLeod's musings from Paris. All right. So I wonder if you can get like a whole collection of these letters. Um, interesting item. Again, not like a huge value. This also kind of feels to me like um, when I open Once Upon a Book Club gifts and the paper gifts so so far we've gotten like two paper gifts we got a letter which i'm not really sure what i do with it after i read it and then an image which if you really like it then that's a great thing and if you're kind of so so on it then you just have this image that you don't know what to do with so two items that i'm a little iffy on honestly especially in terms of value now i've got a little tote bag now i used to collect these but now i have so many of them that i have had to put that on hiatus as well but it is an easy thing to collect. And I do like that this one is just in simple black and white lettering. It's kind of that thinner, like cotton material. It's not like a thick canvas, which is nice because these actually fold up really well if you want to put them in your purse. Um, so I've definitely used those when I'm like traveling. I'll just have one of these folded up in my purse if I do wind up going to a market or picking something up, some souvenir. Um, but this is like kind of touristy to me even, though since it just has all of the like names of different places in Paris. So it almost looks like those like kind of colorful bags that just repeat the location. And then it's kind of weird to me also. So it's got Montmartre and then it's got like the Champs-Elysees, but then it's like in 
interspersed with like English. So instead of like the Tour Eiffel, it says the Eiffel Tower. So it's got like the English version and then it goes back to French and it says L'Arc de Triomphe and Notre Dame and Louvre de la Marais and Sacre Coeur. But that's weird to me. Like, why wouldn't you have all of them in the French, the French names? Anyway, a little bit of a touristy piece, but definitely a functional item. Again, not a huge value though. Remember, we're trying to get a value of at least the $45 that I paid and hopefully a little bit more to absorb the shipping cost. But so far we got a little print, a letter, and a tote. So I don't feel like I've gotten my value on this box, to be honest with you guys, even though I do think the items are cute and kind of fun and unique. And then the final item we are getting is a Jacquard Paris napkin for your French dinner or glass of Levin, which is wine. So here it is, and I'm guessing, I think I saw it in some different colorways. So it is just a nice thick Jacquard uh, napkin. And let me unfold it and see the whole thing. So it's just got some lettering on it. I do like this kind of like taupe color in the middle and then the edging. And then what does it say? It says the Bistro du Coin. Authentique Café Croissant, and then on the bottom the image is actually of a of a cafe, of a of a coffee and a croissant. I love croissant. Um, they're so good. Uh, I think this is kind of a weird item because I think it would be like cute in your like little picnic basket or your little like setting if you have some like cheese and crackers and a glass of wine for one. But it seems weird to me to get one napkin, right? Because that definitely means you're eating solo. Maybe if we got a set of napkins so that you could have like a little date night at home, um, especially since Paris is the city of love and romance, it seems a little weird to me to have like a napkin for just one person. So to be honest, this is a little bit of a disappointing box, especially in terms of value, because remember it's $45 plus $8 in shipping. I don't think that I got $45 worth of items in all honesty, like I said, even though I do like the items in the box. So we're gonna hope on our third try, because I am subscribed to receive next month, that it is another fantastic destination, whether it's one that I have been to or one that I would like to go to eventually. And we're gonna hope for a little bit of a higher value you. Let me know what you guys think about this. If you've ever subscribed to Wander Karma and this was maybe just an off box, I, I'm, I'm lucky because I know somebody that I can give that, that print, that magazine page to who I think will enjoy it. But other than that, you guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hopefully I'll see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing. Take care.